Hi, we're here in the studio today to show you how to do our drag down lime washing technique. We're using the colour North, sharing all of our tips on how to achieve a great result over three coats. The first thing we do is give the paint a really good stir, making sure there's no pigment left at the bottom of the bucket. Dip the brush into the paint, approximately one quarter of the way onto the bristles. Give a quick flick of the wrist to remove any extra paint, then we're ready to go. First, starting at the top of the wall, but away from the edge, we start spreading out the paint, blending back into the edge of the wall. We apply the paint by dragging it down, with gentle, easy but firm strokes. You don't need to do this with a lot of pressure. It should be an easy, light application, while making sure the paint is spread out as far as it naturally goes. You'll notice we don't place the brush full of paint right next to the last section. This helps avoid having to overwork the overlay area of the paint on the wall. We then merge the sections by pulling the paint edges together with the brush. We're stretching out the paint, then layering it off to smooth out the lines. Notice that we're staggering the dry lines across the wall instead of leaving it to all dry in the same line. This helps to create a natural looking textured finish. Also make sure that you're cutting in correctly on each coat, pulling the paint into edges or corners. When painting against cornices and wood trims, it's also a good idea to use a painter's quality masking tape and tape off all areas you don't wish to paint. This will give you a professional looking edge and make the application much easier. It should be a quick and easy technique. 
Don't overthink it. You can trust the process. We're after a perfectly imperfect finish. Remember, we're building up the paint coat by coat. You don't need to get it perfect on the first coat. It's normal to look a bit transparent on this first coat. It will also look a bit darker while wet than dry. On the next coat, repeat the same technique as the first, alternating where your lines finish. On the second and any subsequent coats, the paint will absorb a little more into the previous coat, so you may not need to stretch the paint out as far as before. If you already love the look, feel free to stop at two coats. The third coat will give more opacity, but can sometimes make the paint look less textured. Stir the paint often. Stretch the paint out as far as it naturally goes. Stagger your lines. Have fun and trust the process.